Local elections are happening this year for Whakatū Nelson. But the way you vote will be slightly different. For the 2022 local election, Nelsonians will vote using a single transferable vote system, or STV for short. Under STV, candidates must receive a certain number of votes. This is called the quota. The quota is determined by the number of positions to be filled and the number of votes that are cast. When the votes are counted, any candidate that reaches the quota on first choice votes is elected. Wicker is elected. But what about the other birds? No one else reached the quota. That's okay, because Wicker has more votes than she needs and is now elected. These extra votes go to the second favourite candidates listed. To do this, we look at all the second favourite choices on the votes Wicca received, then redistribute that percentage of the extra votes to the other candidates. Looks like Kakaruwai is also quite popular. Wow, he just made it to the quota. Okay, I think I understand. But now what happens? There aren't any extra votes and there is still another position left to fill. Now the candidate with the least number of votes is eliminated. Looks like that means kāreareā. That's right. As the candidate with the lowest number of votes, kāreareā is eliminated. His votes are then redistributed to the second choices listed on his votes. Now Titi Pounamu gets elected. Ka pai Titi Pounamu. We now have three new councillors, Weka, Titi Pounamu and Kakaruwai. Cool. So why are we voting this way now? STV makes for fairer elections. People can vote on principle for their preferred candidates, knowing their vote will not be wasted if their favourite candidate doesn't get elected. It also allows voters to have greater choice and a better chance of being represented by someone they support. For more information on STV or how to vote, visit nelson.govt.nz and click on the local election tile.